These children were reportedly wounded in an airstrike by the US-led anti-ISIL coalition. In a message posted online, ISIL says they were injured in the border town of Qaim and 42 others were killed. The Pentagon denies that it has changed any rules of engagement regarding civilian casualties. But it's investigating incidents in the Syrian town of Mambij, where reports say up to 210 civilians were killed in airstrikes. Besides coalition raids, many parts of Syria are under attack by government forces and Russian air power. And the number of civilian casualties has risen sharply in the last few months. Attacks by Russians, by the Syrian government, uh, by and now the, the, the coalition against ISIS. Everybody is attacking the ISIS camps, but the airstrikes against the ISIS are killing civilians now. The UN envoy to Syria estimates more than 400,000 people have been killed since the start of the conflict. Other research groups estimate in Syria alone, Russian forces have reportedly killed more than 900 civilians since September last year. Another 1,500 civilians are estimated to have been killed in coalition strikes in Iraq and Syria since July 2014. Aid workers say a lack of medical help is also a factor in the spike in civilian deaths. We can't deliver a lot of health services, basic health services, to people in need in ISIS areas because of uh, the reluctance of the, 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 the groups or there, or in the rebels area because it's besieged areas. Rescue workers in areas under siege convert construction equipment to ferry the wounded. They say the Assad government has deliberately targeted hospitals and medical facilities. UN aid convoys to rebel-held parts are routinely denied access or have their medicines confiscated. All this adds to the misery of Syrians and Iraqis caught between warring sides. And people like this man continue to ask why the world has abandoned them. Osama bin Javed, Al Jazeera.